So, in the data, I already explained about the uh, sense here again. Uh, this sense here again is for this two groups who to play a buyer and census place to play a gamma stability. And census place place to play we call gamma stability. And census a beautiful plane and Goku also receive Kama Jubilee uh, or the case and just not beautiful plane Pada sesi sore tadi kita uh, sudah membahas uh, tentang uh, alam kehidupan uh, yang uh, menikmati fungsi indera yang dibagi dua uh, yaitu uh, alam uh, yang disebut alam uh, kama dugati yaitu um, alam yang uh, menikmati fungsi indera tetapi penuh penderitaan uh, yang kedua adalah alam kama sugati bumi yaitu uh, alam kehidupan yang menikmati fungsi indera yang uh, penuh kesenangan now, I would like to explain uh, the five material sphere and the material sphere. Uh, <coughs> Sekarang Bante akan uh, menerangkan uh, lima alam kehidupan di alam Brahma bermateri dan alam Brahma yang tidak memiliki materi. So, in this, uh, sorry. In this five material sphere has 16 material sphere and also for the immaterial sphere has four sphere, four range. Uh, di alam luhur bermateri atau alam brahma bermateri ada uh, dibagi lagi menjadi 16 uh, lapisan alam kehidupan sedangkan di alam brahma uh, yang tidak bermateri atau arupa itu dibagi lagi menjadi empat lapis alam kehidupan okay. Uh, sitting spirit when has both physical and under where yeah, Brazilian when only has physical mm-hmm. uh, uh, <coughs> dari 16 itu uh, 15 alam uh, memiliki materi maupun uh, batin tapi ada satu alam yang hanya uh, memiliki materi saja tanpa uh, memiliki batin in this uh, for the anagami plot person have special five realms uh, and that we call sutta wasa clean realms uh. Uh, ada lima alam di kehidupan alam luhur bermateri yang uh, khusus untuk uh, makhluk uh, suci anagami uh, alam kelima alam tersebut disebut alam sudawasa yang artinya bersih. For the embedded we have four types of the realms. Huh? Untuk alam uh, luhur tidak bermateri ada. Uh, Empat jenis alam. So because of this, uh, here a material sphere for five material sphere sixteen, together with the sun sphere uh, eleven, become thirty one. Uh, jadi uh, ada alam uh, luh, alam luhur tidak bermateri empat, alam luhur uh, bermateri enam belas ditambah Alam fungsi indera ada uh, 11, jadi semuanya ada 31 alam. Now I would like to explain about the lifetime of them. Eh? Sorry, uh, before I explain about lifetime of them, eh? I would like to explain the 
Repat linking my moment of then. Uh, sekarang Bante akan terlebih dahulu uh, membabarkan tentang uh, kesadaran kelahiran kembali dari tiap uh, alam. For the four wufu planes, eh, they you can change to the cita chat. For the wufu, four wufu planes, eh, uh, the robot linking my moments is eh, as I already mentioned, eh, like that, and wholesome resu- resultant, ruthless. Uh, Upeka Sandirana investigation accompanied by equanimity. Uh, untuk alam penderitaan, uh, kesadaran uh, kelahiran kembalinya adalah uh, aku salah santirana cita, yaitu uh, kesadaran investigasi uh, yang tidak berakar. For the human and six jiwa, the the robot linking consciousness is a. Uh, Uh, as I already mentioned, uh, and uh, sorry, wholesome resultant, ruthless, ruthless investigation, my movement, uh, accompanied by equanimity. equanimity. Uh, untuk kelahiran kembali di alam manusia yang uh, cacat sedap lahir atau alam uh, dewa tingkat pertama itu. Uh, kesadaran kelahiran kembalinya yaitu kesadaran investigasi uh, disertai uh, norm, uh, perasaan normal dari akar uh, yang baik and together with the Ta- maaf tanpa akar yang baik and together with the sense we are resultant eight uh, sedangkan untuk alam kehidupan di Kama Sugati Bumi, uh, yaitu alam indera yang uh, baik, yaitu uh, dari Maha uh, Wipaka uh, Cita, Maha Wipaka, uh, Maha Wipaka Cita yaitu uh, hasil yang baik uh, dari dari perbuatan-perbuatan baik. So because of this, uh, uh, we should understand that for our human, our body Sunday have nine types. Uh, dari sini kita uh, bisa memahami bahwa kesadaran kelahiran kembali untuk uh, manusia itu ada sembilan, yaitu delapan dari uh, hasil perbuatan uh, baik mm, dan satu dari uh, uh, invest, kesadaran investigasi yang tidak berakar yang baik. For, uh, sorry, so... Be, uh, because of this, uh, like that, uh, in the human realms and the lower class of the deva, we call art bounded deva. Like that, types of the deva, robot linking consciousness is a wholesome resultant, root, rootless investigation mind. Uh, <coughs> sedangkan uh, untuk uh, Tadi manusia yang dilahirkan cacat sedak, sejak kandungan dan bagi uh, dewa uh, uh, yang uh, hidup di uh, alam yang sama dengan manusia, uh, yaitu dewa alam rendah, itu uh, kesadaran kelahiran kembalinya adalah uh, kesadaran tidak berakar uh, yang baik. We call ahiduka pedisanti. Uh, untuk uh, macam kelahiran tidak berakar uh, itu adalah ahituka patisandi. In this uh, that types of human is eh, like that born uh, they born deaf and deaf you know and also mute mute mean cannot speak out mute uh, okay. untuk Manusia yang lahir dari dengan ahetuka uh, pati sandi, maka uh, dia akan dilahirkan dalam keadaan uh, cacat uh, seperti misalnya uh, tuli atau bisu. And mentally retarded. Retarded means uh, that they even A, B, C they don't know, or one, two, three they don't know like that. Uh, 
uh, atau uh, dilahirkan dalam keadaan uh, cacat mental. And like the crazy one uh, from the robot linking, uh, uh, so we call mentally deranged, deranged. Seperti misalnya uh, orang yang uh, gila yang disebabkan oleh uh, kesadaran uh, lahir, kelahiran kembali tadi. And also those born as eons, eons, you know, eons mean either in the palace, eh? mostly they have to, how to say, guard the lady. Uh, atau uh, orang-orang uh, waria. And also in English we call hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites mean have two types of the sexual uh, uh, sex organ. Orang-orang hermaphrodit yaitu yang memiliki uh, dua uh, jenis organ uh, seksual. And also we call sexually indeterminate. Uh, dengan demikian mereka secara uh, seksual tidak bisa dipastikan jenisnya. Can also consider some types of the gay. Eh? Uh, juga uh, beberapa tipe dari uh, gay. And uh, for some lower class of the dewa, like that, ruka dewa, buma dewa, like that. Eh? Uh, juga untuk jenis kelahiran kembali seperti ini adalah uh, beberapa dewa tingkat rendah. Oke. Okay. Now again, uh, for the sixteen, uh, for the Brahma, Rupa Brahma in sixteen realms, uh, the robust consciousness is a uh, five material sphere resultant five. Uh, untuk uh, Dewa Brahma bermat, uh, yang memiliki uh, materi uh, atau tubuh uh, itu kelahiran kembalinya disebabkan oleh uh, kesadaran uh, hasil uh, dari kesadaran uh, rupa jana. Uh, for immaterial sphere, for uh, immaterial realms, uh, those types of Brahma uh, take birth. Uh, sorry. Their robot consciousness is eh, like the immaterial resultant for. Uh, untuk uh, Brahma yang tidak memiliki uh, rupa atau tubuh, itu uh, kesadaran lahir kembalinya mereka di empat alam itu disebabkan oleh uh, kesadaran uh, hasil dari arupa jana. <coughs> Now, I would like to explain about the lifetime of then. Uh, sekarang uh, Bante akan menerangkan tentang mm, rentang waktu uh, hidup di masing-masing alam tadi. For the four wufu planes and for the human beings, uh, they have no definite lifetime uh, untuk uh, uh, makhluk-makhluk yang hidup di alam penderitaan dan juga di alam manusia itu tidak ada rentang waktu kehidupan yang pasti and uh, like that in some creature in the, uh, some being in the hell uh, may undergo torment only for a few days and then Pass on the robot uh, as well. Why other must and uh, endure torment of millions of year? Uh, makhluk-makhluk di alam uh, penderitaan ada yang berumur hanya beberapa hari saja, uh, tapi ada juga yang uh, sampai uh, beberapa juta tahun. <coughs> Uh, indefinite yeah? here you see yeah? and for the Chatu Maharajika uh, here see why 
me represent as a celestial years, eh? deva years. Eh? Uh, if we consider with if we can count with the deva years, eh? five hundred deva years, celestial years. Uh, untuk alam dewa yang dipilakan di depan, angka-angkanya itu adalah uh, angka berdasarkan uh, standar kehidupan uh, yang sesuai di alam dewa lamanya. If we consider with the human years, uh, become nine million years. Uh, untuk yang Catu Maharajika itu 500 tahun dewa yang jika pada dibandingkan uh, pada uh, tahun kehidupan manusia itu sebanding dengan uh, 9 juta tahun kehidupan manusia. Now, as taking base this for the celestial year 500 and like that for the human year 9 million uh, and Uh, for the upper level of the Deva lifetime, uh, if we want to calculate with the celestial year, can imply with two, 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 two again. Uh, untuk alam-alam di atasnya, dari Catum Harjika ke atas, itu untuk menghitung tahun kehidupan berdasarkan uh, tahun Dewa, itu tinggal dikalikan dua terus ke atas. If we want to count with the human years, huh? uh, taking base for in taking base for the Chatu Maharajika lifetime, nine millions. For the up, you can imply with the four, 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 four like that. Uh, jika uh, rentang waktu kehidupan dewa ini mau dihitung dengan perbandingan uh, tahun manusia, maka berbasiskan pada uh, rentang waktu kehidupan Dewa Catu Maharajika tadi yang 9 juta itu tiap lapis ke atas tinggal dikalikan lagi 4 kali 4 kali 4 begitu seterusnya. Uh, now I would like to explain a little bit more wider about the eon kappa. Uh, sekarang Bante akan menerangkan uh, tentang rentang waktu mm, eons atau kappa. Now, according to the Epitama, now our human lifetime is uh, around 75 years. Uh, berdasarkan kepada Abhidhamma, rentang waktu kehidupan manusia masa sekarang adalah sekitar 75 tahun. It is, we say, as an average, eh? maybe more shorter or maybe more longer than very few. Uh, 75 tahun itu adalah kita bilang sebagai rata-rata uh, mungkin bisa uh, hidup uh, di bawah itu atau lebih uh, lama dari itu. Our life uh, time of human is eh? uh, because uh, according to our morality of our surroundings, eh? like that, uh, we can say. Uh, Intrim eon, intrim eon means how to say, um, under a kappa. Intrim eon. Eh? So, lifetime, for normal lifetime, is we call ayu kappa. Ayuk, you know, ayuk, ayuk means la, uh, normal lifetime, we call ayu. In Pali, normal lifetime, we call ayu. Sorry, like, may I explain that eh? a little bit more wider? Now, we see our life our, uh, for general, eh? nowadays, uh, our lifetime is we call 75 years. Eh? Uh, Bante akan memberikan perumpamaan bahwa di Kalpa sekarang ini umur manusia rata-rata 75 tahun. Is we call Ayu Kappa. Disebut Ayu Kappa. So? Jadi 75 tahun itu disebut Ayu Kappa. Ayu Kappa is maybe very, depending on the morality of our human. Jadi Ayu Kappa 
tergantung dari moral rata-rata tiap manusia. Now as you know, if we consider about our grandfather mother time and our father mother time and for our time, morality is break down more and more lower level. Uh, kalau kita perhatikan uh, tingkat moralitas uh, nenek, kakek, dan zaman orang tua kita dan zaman kita sekarang ini moralnya makin menurun. Because our morality is break down more and more, so our lifetime more and more getting shorter. Karena moral moral manusia makin menurun uh, sebanding dengan uh, usia manusia juga. Makin menurun. Is we go down ayukapa. Ya, itu berarti ayukapa yang menurun. So now we are in the down ayukapa. Kita sekarang pada zaman ayukalpa yang menurun. So because of this, our morality is going down again and again. Dan akan terus menurun. So in the down ayukapa. In hundred year, lesser one year. Hundred year, lesser one year. Hundred year, lesser one year, like that. Jadi penurunannya setiap seratus tahun usia manusia akan berkurang satu tahun. Now, when our Lord Buddha arrives, it is in hundred lifetime ayukapa. Uh, jadi pada zaman Sang Buddha itu uh, ayukapanya di angka 100. Now we are in 75 around 75 years ayukapa. How we calculate means ya. Uh, now uh, Lobuda already arise uh, according to the sasana eons uh, to 2500 years already. Yeah. So because of this uh, 100 year reduce one year 100 year reduce one year begin uh, uh, sorry 100 minus 25 becomes around 75 yeah. jadi penjelasannya pada zaman sang buddha uh, ayu kalpa di, manusia pada zaman itu adalah 100 seperti kita ketahui sang buddha uh, sudah mengajarkan dharma itu sejak 2000 ta- 500 tahun yang lalu sehingga karena setiap 100 tahun turun satu tahun sehingga uh, usia ayu kalpa manusia sekarang adalah 100 dikurangin 25 menjadi 75 tahun and the one thing is uh, if our lifetime is more shorter than 100 year love that cannot arise hmm. Why means that maybe more and more root, yeah? Their morality is more and more worse. So because of this, up to hundred year, from hundred year up to ten years, in this during this lifetime, love Buddha do not arise. Jadi dikatakan oleh Bante, Sang Buddha tidak dapat muncul pada ayu kapa di bawah 100 sampai 10. Jadi di bawah 100 tidak akan ada uh, munculnya seorang Buddha. Uh, so because of this, uh, later on, uh, from 75 year will be lesser, lesser, lesser up to 10 years. Uh, at 10 years, uh, even we see with the eye, Because our hatred, our delusion, and our greed is so great. Even our hatred is so great because even we see with the eyeling, the other pass away. Jadi pada saat ayu kalpa umur sepuluh, bahkan kita hanya melihat orang lain dengan mata. Orang tersebut dapat langsung mati. And everything we take become weapons to destroy other. Dan apapun yang kita pegang menjadi senjata untuk membunuh yang lain. 
now you you can imagine that imagine that eh? like that whatever we eat is uh, how to say poison for us eh? so the weapon is arise more new and new weapons arise again and again eh? e- even one uh, pinch of the hand uh, we can kill millions of uh, human eh? jadi pada saat ayu kalpa umur uh, ber- berada di angka 10 tahun Jadi apa yang kita makan pun menjadi racun dan apa yang kita uh, pegang menjadi senjata dan kita bisa mem- membayangkan betapa uh, sadis dan kejamnya kehidupan pada zaman itu. At the time, uh, our human became two group. Uh, one group is killing each other, eating each other, fighting each other. Pada zaman pada saat itu nanti akan terbagi menjadi dua grup yang satu grup uh, pekerjaannya membunuh dan saling berantem terus menerus uh, one group is uh, because they have the some way got regret so they they hide and also they try to keep the uh, morality become better and better hmm. nah di grup yang satunya uh, karena mereka takut Ya, mereka uh, bersembunyi dan mulai belajar untuk me- meningkatkan moralnya. At that time, uh, because human is ke- keeping on their morality, so because of this uh, reason, uh, our lifetime became more and more longer. Uh, di grup yang yang tadi menjaga moral dan yang grup yang berusaha meningkatkan moral uh, membuat u- usia mereka menjadi tambah panjang. Well, we longer to the infinity sampai menjadi tanpa batas. And when our lifetime is infinity become lesser 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 again like now. Dan uh, karena mak- makin panjang jadi tak beringga membuat membuat uh, berubah lagi menjadi seperti yang semula so in this case uh, i would like to share the knowledge that uh, here we go ayu kapa here also we go ayu kapa here we say up ayu kapa here we say down ayu kapa ya bande menunjukkan bahwa Semuanya disebut ayu kapa, cuman yang uh, berumur panjang, makin panjang disebut ayu kapa naik, dan yang memperpendek usia berarti ayu kapa menurun. In the up ayu kapa, because human is follow the morality more and more better, so because of this, uh, no need to teach a lot, so love that never arise. Hmm. Pada saat zaman Ayu Kapa naik, karena semua orang berperilaku moralnya bagus, sehingga Sang Buddha juga tidak akan pernah muncul. So during in the up, uh, sorry, Sorry. down Ayu Kapa, our Lord Buddha can arise. Jadi Sang Buddha ajaran Dharma hanya akan muncul pada saat Ayu Kapa menurun. But lesser down hundred, yeah. our love do not yeah. arise. Menurun sampai seratus ayu kapa. Di bawah itu tidak akan muncul. Uh, between sama sambuda sama sambuda a lot. Uh, our godma sama sambuda is the shortest. Our god only our lot godma sama sambuda had the shortest long life. Oh. Shorter lifetime. Ya, yeah. dari semua uh, sang Bud- dari semua Buddha yang ada, hanya uh, Sidar sang Buddha Gautama lah yang mempunyai usia yang paling pendek. Sam sama sang Buddha have ten thousand lifetime. Sam sama sang Buddha have hundred thousand lifetime. Hmm, jadi uh, Buddha Buddha yang lain ada yang sampai umurnya. Uh, 10.000 sampai lebih dah tahun. But 
according to the traditional and uh, normal things uh, uh, traditional things of the traditional law of the law buddha uh, whenever they arise uh, they only live for uh, how to say for fit can say for fit of the lifetime that means uh, uh, when their lifetime is 100 year they only live 80 year oh jadi uh, seperti yang banyak dituliskan dalam ajaran bahwa usia uh, sang buddha hanya berusia 4 per 5 dari ayu kalpa pada zaman itu if their lifetime is 10000 uh, they only live in 8000 ya okay. jadi umpama pada zaman ayu kalpa 10000 maka sang buddha hanya hidup di ang, di umur 80.000 tahun. In this case, huh? we can get one very uh, valuable knowledge there. Huh? Uh, here we can see that there have a lot of good person. Yeah. Here we can see that there have a lot of bad person. Yeah. yeah? Jadi dari we, okay. dari gambar uh, yang ditulis Bande dapat terlihat bahwa uh, ada pada zaman peningkatan moral uh, ayu kapa naik terdapat banyak uh, prak, apa, man, manusia yang bermoral baik tinggi dan di sebaliknya yang di zaman ayu kapa menurun banyak terdapat manusia yang bermoral rendah. Because we have bad surrounding, luckily we get the chance to see the law Buddha. Yeah, karena pada saat uh, banyak orang berperilaku bermoral jelek, makanya kita mempunyai kesempatan yang luar biasa dapat ketemu dengan Sang Buddha. So because of this, uh, we our Bamis used to say that uh, goal always can arise be, uh, from the rubbish. Ya, yeah, makanya orang Birma selalu mempunyai pepatah uh, 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 bahwa emas uh, selalu muncul di berdekatan dengan uh, uh, sampah. As I explained yesterday, the best surrounding support us so much to become kusala if we, as long as we have proper attention. Ya, jadi Bande bilang seperti yang diajarkan kemarin bahwa Selama kita mempunyai perhatian yang benar, eh, lingkungan kita justru menjadi eh, pondasi kita untuk berbuat kusala kama. Oke, okay. now I would like to explain about the ions again. Eh? Akan dilanjut penjelasan tentang ion. One pair of up ayukapa and down ayukapa we call in trim ion. In, in trim, like andara kapa. Oh. One set. Oh ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Jadi satu satu ayukalpa naik dengan satu kal, ayukalpa menurun disebut satu frame ion. Yeah. One frame ion. Yeah, yeah, so it is ayukapa, yeah. up ayukapa, it is down ayukapa, both together become, one pair becomes uh, like the interim ion, uh, in Bali we call andara kapa, And, andara, andara kapa, andara kapa. Ion, ion kapa, yeah. andara kapa, okay. andara kapa. Two together become andara kapa. <coughs> andara kapa. So, 
64 times of the Andhra Kappa become Asantiya Kappa, Uncountable Kappa. Jadi, uh, satu ayu kalpa naik dan satu kal ayu kalpa menurun disebut antara kapa. Nah, terus 64 antara kapa disebut asan kaya kapa. Yeah. <tuh> Oke. Okay. If four asanchaya kappa is equal to maha kappa, great kappa. Asan kaya kappa dikali empat disebut maha kappa. Maha kappa. <coughs> maha kappa is the lifetime of our war. Oh. Jadi... Our, this world of war, universe. War, war, war. Oh, jadi, Only our war up. Oh, jadi dunia ini usianya satu maha kapa. Please explain to them again from yeah. the, now to here. Jadi satu ayu kapa naik ditambah satu ayu kapa menurun disebut antara kapa. Antara kapa sebanyak 64 kali disebut asan kaya kapa. Asan kaya kapa 4 kali disebut maha kapa. Maha kapa ini adalah usia dunianya kita. Oke. Okay. Uh, Oke, okay, change to Ramaraja. Here. Yeah. The Andhra Kappa we call Intrim Ion. Huh? Intrim Ion. Huh? Here I A, you see? Here you can see Andhra Kappa here. I A is Andhra Kappa. G A is Great Ion means Maha Kappa. I A in English means Andhra Kappa. Oh. Yeah. Jadi I A itu Inprint Ion atau Andhra Kappa. For G A is Great Ion, Maha Kappa. Jadi GA itu Great Ion sama dengan Maha Kappa. So the life of the there have three types of the realms of fast jhana plane. Mm. So in this fast jhana plane is uh, for this Brahma retinue war is uh, one third of the intrinsic Ion and Ra Kappa. Yeah, jadi seperti contoh uh, first jana tingkat 1 alam ke-12 ya itu kurang lebih sepertiga antara kapa. And in the down you can explain yourself for the second jana yeah. three realms is a two great ion four great ion eight great ion maha kapa maha kapa like that. Jadi uh, seperti bisa dilihat di tabel seperti jana kedua alam ke-15 itu dua great ion berarti dua kali maha kapa berarti dua kali dunia ini hilang dan muncul ya yeah. now we can go up to there eh? yeah. uh, there all are the lifetime of each realms eh? hmm. jadi And bisa they Later on, the supporter group will give you like that chart, I think, ya? Yeah? Ya, yeah, nanti chartnya bisa dibagikan. <coughs> okay. Now, may I go to the functions of the karma? 
dilanjut ke fungsi karma. Functions of the karma. Fungsi karma. So, <laughs> in this case, uh, the functions of the karma is very interesting and also very DJ uh, and very reasoning. Jadi fungsi karma, karma sangat detail, sangat menarik dan sangat berfungsi. <coughs> Okay. First of all, our Lord Buddha mentioned uh, for four types of the karma. Jadi, Sang Buddha menjelaskan ada empat jenis karma. In this four types, uh, can divide each four types of the karma again. Jadi, dari empat karma tersebut dibagi masing-masing dibagi empat. <coughs> Is we call jita jatuka uh, sorry kicca jatuka means uh, divide by the function. Jadi pembagian pertama disebut kicca jatuka kama yang dibagi berdasarkan fungsinya. <coughs> so It is a, we call it according to the function, kecha means function, huh? so according to the function, they have four types of the karma, yeah? Jadi, berdasarkan fungsinya, karma itu ada empat. And also, according to the order of ripening, they have also four types of the karma. Berdasarkan uh, urutan prioritas munculnya karma ada empat juga. According to the time of ripening, they also have four types of the karma. Oh, jadi berdasarkan waktu munculnya juga ada empat. According to the place of the ripening, we can also consider four types of the karma. Oh. Berdasarkan tempat munculnya juga ada empat. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Our Lord Buddha divide four types of the gamma. In this four types, huh, we can divide four, 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 four each, respectively. In this, huh, uh, first four type is uh, our Lord Buddha divide by function. Second four types is our Lord Buddha divide by the order of ripening. The third is uh, our Lord Buddha divide by the time of ripening. The fourth is uh, our Lord Buddha divide by the place of ripening. Jadi uh, Sang Buddha me- menjelaskan bahwa ada empat, empat jenis uh, tipe karma di mana masing-masing jenis tipe itu dibagi empat itu masing-masing dibagi dari fungsinya terus tingkat e, prioritasnya terus waktu dan tempatnya di mana masing-masing juga dibagi empat. Now I like to explain uh, the functioning uh, for group. Huh? Nah, Bante akan jelaskan dari uh, empat fungsi yang pertama. First gamma is we call reproductive gamma. Yang pertama disebut uh, reproductive gamma. The page number 199. Uh, karma penyebab ya. In, in the Bali we call janaka gamma. Ya, karma karma penyebab ya. Janaka. Okay. 
the reproductive karma, which produces mental aggregate and material aggregate at the moments of the conception, as well as throughout the lifetime of the individual. Jadi karma penyebab ini uh, mem, mem, memproduksi, mem, membuat kumpulan mental dan material uh, pada saat pembentukannya. So let's say ya, yeah, uh, for our human ya, yeah, uh, may I give the example that uh, according to the experience of one meditator in our power center, ya. Yeah, uh, I have my friend, I think, I, I don't know, I already mentioned or not, uh, I have my friend, friend me, Beku friend, He lived in front of my goody in Pa'ao. Ya, Bante menceritakan, uh, Bante punya teman di tempat Pa'ao. So, he is, before he ordained, he is Muslim man. Jadi sebelum menjadi biksu, dia seorang Muslim. Uh, so, when it, He see his past life. Huh? His past life is Burmese in Upper Burma side. Jadi dia melihat pada saat dia menjadi biksu, dia melihat pada kehidupan lalu dia seorang Birma yang berat tinggalnya di bagian utara. And in his past life, huh? he is lady. Pada kehidupan lampaunya dia seorang perempuan. Uh, she is. Uh, Buddhist, but her husband is Muslim. Uh, dulunya dia Buddhist, tapi suaminya Muslim. So, uh, her husband prohibit uh, uh, not to go to the monastery, uh, not to go, uh, how to say, not to do good deeds by Buddhist. Jadi is, suaminya melarang dia untuk ke Vihara. But at one time, uh, while her husband do not have in the house, uh, she visit to the monastery. At that time, in this monastery, have no water. So because of this, he carry water a lot and uh, serve to the bhikkhu. Jadi kalau suaminya tidak ada di rumah, si perempuan ini ke vihara dan membawakan air sebanyak-banyaknya untuk diberikan ke sang biksunya. At the time she start to understand that Beku life is so stable and so uh, how to say so quiet so she she want to become Beku. Ya karena dia melihat so, seorang biksu itu begitu tenang, begitu damai sehingga memotivasi dia untuk menjadi seorang biksu. Although she must do, she want to reborn as a biksu, she still have attached on her husband Muslim man. Walaupun dia kepingin menjadi se- reinkarnasi seorang biksu, tapi dia masih melekat dengan suaminya. When she re- uh, pass away, uh, she reborn as a man uh, in around this city area. Sehingga pada saat dia men, uh, meninggal, Tumimba lahir lagi menjadi seorang laki-laki dan berada di sekitar kota itu. And when he is a dove, uh, he go to the army he, and he arrive, uh, he go to the army, the army have in the main city of the Myanmar, Yangon. Jadi, Kemudian setelah dia dewasa, dia menjadi seorang tentara dan berada di sekitar kota Yangon. At the time he is Muslim. Pada saat itu dia tetap masih Muslim. But uh, according to the how to say plan of our government, huh? the, the the soldier must help the farmer a lot. So because of must help the farmer. So, because that soldier group, uh, 
help the farmer of the farmer uh, around the Yangon state. So luckily, he arrived to one village. Jadi karena pemerintah Burma mempunyai suatu bijaksanaan di mana seorang tentara harus membantu para petani dan pada akhirnya dia mencapai uh, dia men, dia sampai pada suatu desa. The village he go to help the farmer is uh, luckily the great uh, the original village of great grand teacher of Goenga. Jadi ternyata uh, desa yang di, didatangin oleh tentara tersebut adalah uh, merupakan uh, vihara terhebat ke milik Go, Goenga. Ya, yeah, you know Goenga, meditation teacher, now pass away. Huh? So, this way, uh, the great grand teacher of the Goenga is uh, his name is Mr. Ted. He a lots of people accept he is Anagami. So Bamis go Anagami Ted. Hmm. Karena di uh, di monastri meditasi Goenga itu sekarang dipimpin oleh seorang uh, biksu dengan nama Ted. Makanya uh, bahkan orang Burma menyebutnya Nagami Ted. Nagami Ted. Yeah. So <coughs> in this village, he met with one Burmese lady. So that Burmese lady is Buddhist. Dan di desa tersebut tentara ini bertemu dengan seorang gadis Buddhist. They marry very easily, and also they go to religion together. The Dia mereka menikah dan uh, pergi ke vihara bersama. So he do not change the religion. Uh, his wife also do not change the religion. Jadi masing-masing bisa pergi ke tempat ibadahnya masing-masing tanpa masalah. But later on, uh, he do business in this village and he 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 become the rich man. Dan kemudian uh, dia mulai berbisnis dan menjadi orang kaya. And also he become the leader of this village. Dan menjadi kepala di desa tersebut. So although he do not, he do not change the religion uh, because this village is very famous in Myanmar in meditation. So he try to meditate about two times. Karena di, di desa tersebut terkenal sebagai desa tempat meditasi, makanya uh, dia berusaha untuk belajar meditasi dua kali. Later on, because he is uh, the leader of this village, eh? uh, in the Uposada day, uh, it, as the traditional of uh, traditional way of Myanmar, uh, we used to go the monastery. At the time, uh, a lot of villager uh, asked him, "Oh, brother, you do not go to monastery, so because he afraid to have no questions for this, eh? so he used to go to the monastery at the first day of the wasa three months, eh? and end day of the wasa only two day he go oh. to monastery." Yeah, karena. <laughs> Uh, dia bukan seorang Buddhis, makanya dia dan dia juga sebagai ke, kepala di desa tersebut, makanya untuk menghormati desa tersebut sebagai desa yang terkenal meditasi Buddhisnya, makanya dia hanya datang uh, di vihara cuma pada hari pertama dan hari terakhir masa wasa. Although he do not change the religion, he still keep his <laughs> walaupun dia, walaupun dia tetap Muslim, namun dia juga ikut mengambil sila. In the end day of the wasa, uh, luckily they have one uh, festival of ordination ceremony. Uh, they have ordination ceremony. So in this ceremony, uh, they are joking that, oh brother, 
do you want to ordain? So, do you want to ordain with us? Why not? He replied. <laughs> After that, uh, if you really want to ordain, you can ordain now. <laughs> the, the villagers say, why not, why not? I dare to ordain. Uh, don't bother me, like something. Huh? After that, uh, he said, if you want to dare to ordain, yes, can now join. So at the time, he joined. Jadi karena setiap di akhir masa wasa kan selalu ada pentasbihan piku. Nah ada suatu canda teman-temannya dia e, bercanda, eh apakah kamu juga mau ditasbihkan? Dan dia menjawab, kenapa enggak? Aku juga mau. Dan e, pada suatu ketika dia juga ikut ditasbihkan. And he have two son. And also, even his wife and two sons don't know he ordained. <laughs> Bahkan sampai istri dan dua anaknya tidak tahu kalau dia ditasbihkan sebagai biksu. After that, she relinquished all and even do not change the religion, he become the biksu. <laughs> Now already 12, around 12 was up already. Wow. But So he carry on meditation. After that, uh, he do not get satisfaction on this meditation. Uh, on his meditation, he go to join Pao Center. After that, he meditate in Pao Theology very well. Now he is uh, in tr training course of the meditation teacher. Oh, jadi walaupun dia sudah ditasbihkan, dia tidak berubah. Agamanya tetap Muslim dan dia tetap berlatih Dharma e, sampai 12 masa wasa. Nah, karena di situ dia tidak mendapatkan sesuatu yang dia cari, akhirnya dia belajar ke Pak o, dan di sana sekarang dia menjadi guru meditasi. So, uh, in this case, uh, I would like to point out that uh, uh, the Janaka Gama of him is. Uh, Uh, the donating water. Jadi Bande menjelaskan bahwa Janaka Janaka Kama yang yang ada dalam cerita ini adalah uh, pada saat perempuan tersebut me, mempersembahkan air kekuatannya bisa memproduksi Janaka Kama. So Kama, uh, I would like to point out that uh, Kama is so how to say DJ and Uh, so lawful because of this uh, during the moment uh, in his past life uh, during the moment that lady donate the water uh, she had two attachments together one is half attached on the bhikkhu one is half attached on the muslim man because of this uh, in this life uh, he become muslim man and bhikkhu together Ya, Bante menjelaskan betapa detail dan kuatnya e, Janaka Kama, Janaka Kama, sehingga e, bisa ter, terwujudkan dalam kehidupan e, seorang tadi ceritanya bahwa dalam kehidupan ini karena dia tetap bisa menjadi piku dan tetap bisa menjadi Muslim dalam kesempatan yang sama. Uh, by the way, I would like to share one knowledge. Huh? Sometimes uh, somebody think that huh? only we have attach. Uh, attach means huh? uh, can consider various way. Love not only love is attach, but also hatred also become attach. Jadi kemelakatan tidak selalu uh, identik dengan cinta, kebencian juga bisa. In our country, they have very famous meditation teacher uh, change the religion from the Muslim have. Now he passed away. His very famous order of the religious book. Hmm, di Birma juga ada seorang guru meditasi yang sangat terkenal dari guru meditasi menjadi muslim dan sudah meninggal dan dia banyak menulis banyak buku 
when he changed to Buddhist, uh, when he when that man changed to Buddhist, uh, uh, the all surrounding of him is throw away to him. From Muslim to Buddhist. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, jadi kenapa? Sorry, kebalik ya. Jadi dia uh, dari Muslim uh, menjadi Buddhist, terus jadi sangat terkenal dan penulis banyak buku. Dan kenapa kenapa dia berpindah ke agama Buddha? Karena banyak orang yang memusuhi dia. And they do the time he passed away, his family neglect him. Bahkan pada saat meninggal pun seluruh keluarganya tidak menghiraukan, mengacuhkan dia. Do you know the reason why some hatred become attachment? Itu sebabnya karena uh, kebencian menjadi sangat melekat. So I would like to request you that do not hate much. Ya, yeah, Bante mengingatkan supaya jangan membenci terlalu banyak. If we hate much, that hate mind become attached. But we have a loss of kusala and also we have a loss of parami, perfection. But because we attach, we don't want us like that type of person. But later on, because of our perfection is so good, we become Buddhist. But our surrounding neglect and throw us. Jadi kita diingatkan untuk tidak terlalu membenci, karena kalau kita terlalu membenci, misalnya kita tumimba lahir menjadi Buddhist kembali, surround lingkungan kita juga menjadi tidak menyukai kita. So, uh, here I would like to explain about reproductive karma that produce uh, uh, five aggregate. Five aggregate ma- means uh, physical and mental uh, at the moment of the conception and also throughout the lifetime of the individual. Jadi, janaka karma itu janaka penyebab, penyebab kumpulan dari uh, faktor mental, material dan bisa berlangsung seumur hidup. According to the teaching of Paul Sergi for the, our whole life eh, throughout the life eh, like that type of janaka gamma is govern a lot. Throughout the life yeah. uh, like that type of gamma is govern cover a lot. Jadi janaka gamma itu akan mengikuti kita seumur hidup. The second type of gamma is uh, supported gamma. Yang kedua berdasarkan fungsinya selain janaka gamma ada gamma We go pendukung. Gamma. gamma pendukung yang disebut upatambaka. Supported gamma. So that gamma support the janaka gamma. Jadi upatambaka karma mendukung janaka gamma. Uh, let's say that uh, our Chanaka Gama is good Gama because we are human. Uh? Our past Gama is good Gama. But now, after we reborn as human, we become rich, rich and also we, we can live long life and also every other person love us. Like that, every good things we can get. If Janaka Gama is good, past Gama, Upatambaka also good. Like that, if for one dog, his past Janaka Gama is bad, past Gama, Agusala Gama, because of this, after that dog become dog, that dog do not get the good food, do not get the good place, everybody hate. Like that, this type of karma also upatambaka karma, so must be same type. Jadi, jadi dijelaskan bahwa janaka karma karma utama dan upatambaka karma adalah karma pendukung. Jadi seperti kita, misalnya terlahirkan menjadi manusia, terus yang kaya dan dicintai oleh lingkungan 
dan semua kondisi sekitar mendukung makanya e, janaka karma dan upa tambaka karmanya saling mendukung demikian juga misalnya ada seorang anjing yang terlahir dan kemudian e, jadi kurang makan lingkungannya juga tidak mendukung sehingga anjingnya menjadi tidak e, terawat itu biasanya satu seri Fotak type of gamma is we call upa pilika obstructed gamma. Yang berdasarkan fungsi yang ketiga adalah upa pilaka karma. Obstructed gamma means, uh, let's say for our human, uh, because of our past good karma, we were born as human. So our past good karma is janaka karma. But In our human life, uh, although we are human, very poor, we pass away even from our young childhood, and also everybody hate us, we cannot get the food, like that. Uh. So, obstruct the Janaka Gamma, so must be opposite. Yeah. Jadi, like for the dog, uh, yeah. can, uh, for the dog, uh, the Janaka Gamma of that dog is bad. Gamma, Agusala Gamma, but obstructed Gamma is obstruct to the Janaka Gamma that, uh, although that dog is, uh, the Janaka Gamma of that dog is bad, mm. but in his dog life, uh, everybody see it love. Mm. That dog have a lot of, uh, how to say, food, mm. place, and like that Korean dog, uh, Even have the coat <laughs> and uh, ride the car, eat very nice food like that. Hmm. Yeah, jadi yang upa pilaka karma itu sifatnya uh, ber uh, me, 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 mengurang, me, menghancurkan. Jadi Misalnya kalau kita e, tumimba lahir jadi manusia, kita sudah mempunyai karma baik sebagai manusia. Tapi misalnya kan banyak juga manusia yang udah lahir tapi terus menjadi pengemis, jadi e, orang miskin, orang sakit gitu. Nah itu upa, upa pilaka karmanya yang berbuah. Demikian juga ada juga e, dicontohkan e, misalnya e, anjing. Ya, dia sudah terlimbal lahir menjadi anjing, tapi kan ada juga anjing yang dilahirkan dengan disukai oleh pemiliknya, makannya lebih mewah daripada orang miskin. Nah itu itu adalah yang disebut upa pilaka karma. Oke, okay. in this case uh, I would like to share one type of the knowledge that uh, I read from the book that. In the American, they have one old lady. She is single, but very rich. She have one cat, pet cat. Eh? So she, because she loved this cat much, eh? before she passed away, she called the uh, how to say people. Uh, sorry. Autorni. Autorni. Yes. Yeah. And she call and she hand over her property all to this cat. So that cat become very rich. <laughs> rich. Uh, they have many security after uh, she passed away. That cat have many servant, human servant, <laughs> and also have many security of his human, and uh, take care so much. Have personal doctor, everything that cat have. Jadi Bande pernah baca di koran, di Amerika pernah ada kejadian seorang perempuan kaya yang hanya punya seekor uh, kucing pada saat meninggal semua uh, hartanya pakai wasiat diberikan ke kucingnya sehingga uh, si kucing menjadi mempunyai aset, mempunyai security dan penjaga dari manusia. Jadi lebih kaya daripada manusianya. Do you know that the reason why 
The reason why they get rich is because have a lot of dana in his path. Ya, uh, kenapa begitu? Karena uh, kucing tersebut uh, pada kehidupan yang lalunya uh, banyak sekali berdana. But the reason why he became cat is uh, not have morality, not have meditation like that. Uh. Ya, kenapa menjadi kucing? Karena tidak punya moral dan tidak pernah berlatih meditasi. So, because of this, uh, only dana cannot send you to the good life. Jadi, oleh karenanya, hanya berdana tidak akan membawa kita menjadi uh, mempunyai hidup lebih baik. We must go together sila bawana. Dan kita harus dibarengin dengan sila dan bawana. In Myanmar, because we are Buddhist country, And our government is Buddhist. Eh? Although they are government, eh? sorry, they may stupid, they they may have stupid thinking that they are the king. They think themselves, not government. They say government. Uh, in American, mostly used to say that. Eh? Uh, never mind. Here is Indonesia. I can uh, I can say to uh, about our government. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, I do not want to chase them. But in American, most of the people say government is servant of the people. civil uh, civilization. Uh, yeah. But in, in our country, government is the king of our civilization. <laughs> <laughs> so because they have like that stupid idea. Uh, Uh, according to the teaching, uh, uh, how, how to say, legend of the Buddhist country, they love white elephant so much. Pamis uh, people think that uh, if the king had the white elephant, uh, even the whole world can govern well. They believe like that and. Uh, Rather than do you know, in the Myanmar, in Yangon, Yangon have yeah, have white elephant, but do not white actually. <laughs> a, a little bit red, a, a little bit dark, but they say white elephant, <laughs> and they they take that white elephant and put special special place and give special sugar cane <laughs> and. A lot of people go to visit and see that white elephant. Do you know the reason? Because it 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 is elephant. The lifetime of the elephant elephant is uh, maybe more longer than our human. And although it is uh, elephant animal, but the whole country love. Yeah, uh, can have good place, can have good food. The whole country love and have long lifetime. The reason is uh, in his past life, because his morality is good. Everybody love him. He is healthy, and also can have good food, good dwelling place, and also can have long lifetime. But Because he may be, may, he may not practice his mind. He may not practice uh, to control his mind well. Maybe before he pass away, uh, bad karma arise. Because of this, his chandaka karma is bad again. So I would like to share my knowledge that only no. I live so well. I have good morality. Should not satisfy much. Be careful your meditation. Only morality cannot, uh, how to say, uh, rely on, cannot rely on to get a good life. Okay, it is good knowledge for our meditator. Yeah. Jadi Bante menceritakan 
e, di Firma itu pemerintahnya itu tidak merasa sebagai e, pelayan masyarakat, pengabdi masyarakat, sehingga mereka mempunyai e, seekor gajah putih, walaupun sebetulnya kalau dilihat gajahnya juga tidak putih, gitu. Tapi di, dianggap oleh orang-orang sana dianggap gajah putih, gitu. Nah, terus Pandai menceritakan gajah putih ini sangat karena jadi ikon negara Burma, jadi yang hidup, jadi sangat disukai oleh seluruh rakyat maupun pemerintah Burma karena dianggap sebagai ikon negara. Nah, Bante bercerita bahwa pemilik karma gajah putih ini sebelumnya kemungkinan manusia juga atau lebih baik daripada kita yang sekarang. Cuman dia tidak belajar mengontrol batinnya. Dia cuman belajar e, moral. Dia banyak berdana. Cuk, buktinya, buktinya karena dengan moral dia yang baik, buktinya sekarang seluruh penduduk Burma, bahkan pemerintah Burma itu menghormati dia. Terus dia juga banyak berdana karena sekarang pun semua orang di Burma memberi dia makanan yang terbaik. Tapi karena dia tidak belajar meditasi sehingga pada saat dia mau meninggal karma buruk dia muncul sehingga dia tumimba lahirnya di menjadi gajah. Jadi Bante menyarankan buat kita yang para praktisi meditasi selain belajar moral juga di, dianjurkan diwajibkan untuk menguasai batin kita. But for some meditator they say meditation so supreme. <laughs> so only meditation need for our life. Do not need to donate Uh, do not uh, need to have good morality. They may misunderstand like that. Eh? If you do not donate everything, sir, only meditate, meditate. Yeah, in your future life, eh, you may have good life. But if you meditate, no one want to give the food for you. <laughs> Jadi Bante juga cerita, banyak orang ngomong, wah meditasi aja udah cukup, udah cukup hebat untuk membuat karma baik. Ya memang meditasi juga sudah bagus, kalau cuma meditasi aja, tidak berdana, tidak bersila, ya pada reinkarnasi ke depan memang bisa menjadi hidupnya lebih baik. Tapi tidak akan ada orang yang bakal ngurusin kita dalam kehidupan berikutnya. And, uh... Some, some people are only meditate, but their character no good. <laughs> but they do not follow their good morality. Yeah. So because of this, and he may be uh, get the good life because it may be his marana sanda before he pass away. The object is kusala object. So maybe he become the good man. Uh, But when he meditate, will have many disease, <laughs> and also no one get, want to give the medicine to you. Yeah. May have no doctor for you. Yeah. Jadi walaupun kita jago meditasi, tapi kalau kita tidak menjalankan dana sila dan segala macam, nanti bisa aja kita menjadi terlahir lebih baik. Tapi kita juga tidak ada yang mengurusin tidak ada orang yang bisa dekat dengan kita termasuk kemungkinan juga kita terlahir dengan kondisi yang sakit banyak penyakit so because of this huh, I would like to share the knowledge that huh, meditation is necessary and dana sila also necessary <laughs> <laughs> Jadi, yeah we must go three together 
Jadi Bante menegaskan bahwa meditasi itu penting, namun dana dan sila juga tidak boleh ditinggalkan. But during the intensive uh, training, ya, yeah, uh, we during this retreat, ya, yeah, okay, Bande, because of this, I would like to donate something, but I will go back to my home. <laughs> I will, I will find out the money. So at the time, you will lose the chance to meditate, ya. Yeah? <laughs> so I mean, uh, for retreat, ya, yeah, like that, for the fixed time, ya. Huh? We should carry on, but I mean, uh, like that, you should choose yourself, eh? uh, which is proper time or which is proper thing or something. Eh? Jadi Bante juga ngomong, oke okay, Bante, uh, saya uh, mau berdana sekarang, tapi saya pulang dulu ya, mau ngambil uang. Nah, Bante bilang kalau seperti itu. For the fourth type of the karma, we call upagadaka. Uh, jenis karma mm, yang keempat adalah upagataka karma. Distracted karma, which not only cut off the effect of the chandaka karma, but also destroy the chandaka karma and produce his own effort. Uh, karma yang keempat ini yaitu upagataka karma itu uh, fungsinya bukan hanya untuk uh, memotong uh, beberapa fungsi janaka karma tapi betul-betul menghancurkan janaka karma dan uh, membentuk uh, karma dengan fungsi yang benar-benar baru. Like that, uh, that human pass away uh, before uh, lifetime finish ya. Huh? Like that. Uh, accident or like something like that. Uh, contohnya misalnya mm, ketika uh, seseorang itu uh, meninggal uh, dengan secara tidak normal seperti uh, kecelakaan. Oke, okay. uh, may I discuss uh, may I continue to discuss the karma by order of ripening We go paka dana beriaya ceduka. Uh, Bante akan meneruskan kepada uh, tipe karma yang kedua, yaitu paka dana pariaya karma atau uh, karma yang uh, dikelompokkan berdasarkan uh, prioritas dan efeknya. First type of this order of ripening karma is weighty karma. Uh, karma yang uh, pertama adalah uh, karma berat. So we also call in Bali garu, garuka karma. Uh, istilah dalam bahasa palinya adalah garuka karma. In this case, uh, weighty karma means uh, now uh, if In this meditator, if someone get the jhana, have, uh, if he can carry on this stage, uh, not to fall down, up to the time of the watch of death, Maranasana, so if he pass away with this object, uh, he will be born in the Brahma realms. Uh. So this jhana, Kusala is we call weighty karma on the good points of view. Uh, 
contoh dari karma berat adalah uh, misalnya jika uh, seseorang uh, sudah bisa uh, mempraktekkan meditasi sampai level jana lalu uh, terus dia uh, rajin mempraktekannya dan ketika dia pada saat meninggal uh, dunia uh, sedang dalam keadaan uh, uh, meditasi dan memasuki jana maka uh, Uh, kesadaran hasil dari uh, jana, uh, kesadaran jana tersebut akan menjadi um, kesadaran uh, kelahiran kembali dengan demikian orang tersebut akan dilahirkan uh, di alam uh, luhur uh, atau alam brahma uh, in a bad side eh? uh, The Vaiti Karma is uh, we kill our mother, we kill our father, we kill the other hand, kill father, mother, kill the other hand, uh, how to say, make our Lord Buddha to be blessed come out. But for Lord Buddha, no one can kill. Huh? So, but like Devadatta uh, throw with the stone, huh? uh, the blood Even blood cannot come out. Huh? Uh, I don't know how to say uh, the blood is comes out uh, cannot come out to outside uh, uh. and have inside. Huh? Yeah. So to do Buddha like that and also divide the bhikkhu group mm. and also fix wrong view. Niyada mm. mecha deity can so can say vedi kama. On the bad side. Hmm, jadi uh, garuka karma yang paling berat, aku salah garuka karma paling berat adalah uh, membunuh orang tua, terus membunuh seorang biksu, dan uh, memecah belah sangha, dan hal-hal tersebut sangatlah berat hukumannya. Seperti yang diceritakan oleh Bante bahwa e, Dewa Tata mencoba untuk mem, me, me, melempar batu ke Sang Buddha namun tidak sampai melukai hanya memar darah itu aja. Itu pun sudah termasuk klasifikasi karma buruk terberat atau garuka karma. The second type of the karma is a dead prosumate karma. We call asana karma. Oh, yang kedua adalah karma yang muncul pada saat kita sekarat mendekati kematian. The types of the karma is a now let's say even in the right uh, How to say? Even in the good side, you meditator do not. Let's say, yeah, you meditator do not have the chana kusala. Uh, let's say, and also even on the bad side, you do not have like that bad weighty karma. Yeah. So, for that types of the person, if he pass away, huh? Do not have weighty karma. So here you see, by order of ripening means, uh, if one have weighty karma, every other karma cannot become, uh, cannot give the effect during the watch of the dead. Like that, Ajata Sattu and Devadatta, although Ajata Sattu is later on become good man, Uh, after he killed to his father. Uh, in the worldly Bhutujana, yeah, Ajata Satu is the most, how to say, loved person to the Lord Buddha. He loved the Lord Buddha so much as personal. But his good karma cannot prevent the weighty karma of he killed his father. So because of this, eh, although Ajata Sattu has the good karma later, 
but because have the Vaiti Karma, Vaiti Karma gave the effect fast. Hmm. Jadi <coughs> ini uh, menceritakan tentang uh, tingkat uh, tingkat kualitas karma yang berbuah. Jadi seperti yang Bhante cerita, misalnya kita sebagai e, seorang m, praktisi yang belum mencapai tingkat jana, e, seumpama kita dalam kondisi mau meninggal, e, kita tidak mempunyai e, kusala atau aku salah garuka karma, maka yang akan muncul adalah asana karma. Seperti yang dicontohkan oleh Bhante, seperti uh, acara mempunyai garuka karma yang sangat berat karena e, membunuh ayahnya sehingga pada saat e, sekarat walaupun e, ajata satu sangat berdedikasi kepada sang Buddha namun karena ajata satu mempunyai garuka karma yang sangat berat membunuh orang tuanya maka pada saat men, meninggal sekarat itu asana karmanya itu kalah dengan garuka akusala karma ajata satu yang membunuh ayahnya. Uh, for you, let's say you do not get the jhana, let's say, so because of this, in the good side, do not have the way karma. And also you do not have, you do not kill to your father, mother, etc. So because of this, you do not have the uh, Waiti karma on the bad side, because of this, eh, when you close to pass away in the vast of the dead, you do not have the Waiti karma according to the order of the karma. The dead prosimate karma will become the effect for you. Ya, seperti yang tadi saya sudah uh, sharing bahwa buat kita yang belum mencapai tingkat jana, meditasinya belum mencapai jana. Jika kita tidak ada aku salah atau kusala garuka karma, maka pada saat kita sekarat yang akan muncul adalah asana karma atau dead proximate karma. That types of it, karma is eh? like that we already mentioned, uh, perform before death or remember before death. Jadi Uh, yang akan muncul sebelum akan ingat sebelum kita meninggal. Perform before that mean ya. Yeah? If uh, someone before that close uh, batch of the at the batch of the dead, uh, they invite the beku and beku chant the berita, they listen the berita and they pass away. But although for his long life. Uh, uh, long lifetime, although he do the bad karma so much, eh? but during the watch of the dead, if he do good deeds, that become the dead prosimate karma, and you are reborn as a good man. Jadi, like that, for some other person, although he do the good things continuously in his life, eh? but at the watch of the dead, If he do good uh, bad deeds, eh? like that uh, in the data I mentioned, uh, like water stall lady. So that how do they attach on? Because she close to die at the time she close to die, uh, her daughter cry heavily. So because of this, she worried to her daughter so much, have attached on her daughter. After she passed away, although she donate and she do every good thing so much, eh? 
she become the beta. Like that type of karma, if we saw, we say that was make karma. Jadi singkat katanya, apapun yang uh, yang muncul pada saat kita mau meninggal itu sangatlah penting. Yang dicontohkan tadi cerita seorang uh, perempuan yang pada saat dalam seluruh kehidupannya melakukan perbuatan baik dan pada saat dia sekarat mau meninggal dia me, dia sangat melekat dengan anak perempuannya dia kasihan sehingga itu yang muncul dan membuat wanita tersebut lahir kembali menjadi alam preta demikian juga Bande yang juga menceritakan bahwa ada misalnya ada perilaku yang tidak baik pada saat dia mau meninggal ternyata dia mendengarkan e, chanting mantra atau mungkin doa-doa dari para biksu dan itu juga membantu untuk tumimba lahir ke alam yang lebih baik and let's say one uh, someone like that before He passed away at the verge of the dead. Like that, if, like example that, if he got a coma, coma, you know, huh? uh, he cannot remember everything. He cannot do everything. Yeah. yeah. But for that types of the person, his habitual karma can become the uh, effect for him. Uh, to give the new life. Jadi kita sudah masuk yang ketiga uh, kebiasaan. Jadi karma yang terjadi karena kebiasaan. Jadi uh, itu berlaku paling utama bagi bagi uh, praktisi yang sedang kondisi koma, di mana uh, dia tidak sadar, tidak bisa mendengar, tidak bisa bicara, maka Uh, apa karma kebiasaannya dia yang yang men, men, mempengaruhi kondisi dia bertumimba lahir. For the habitual karma, uh, can maybe one perform regularly, ya yeah? one perform regularly we can also say habitual karma or if he Although he do not perform regularly, he perform one time and recollect it a lot of time. Regularly recollect it, eh? yeah. become like that karma. Yeah, jadi yang ketiga adalah karma kebiasaan yang sering diulang. Walaupun tidak selalu diulang, sekali tempo diulang pun juga termasuk karma kebiasaan so in this case uh, for one person uh, you, you should not think that only do 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 again and again and again and again uh. but for some other points of view uh, although we do one time uh, as long as we can recollect, recollect it again and again can become new karma, new karma, new karma, or like that. Mm. So, in this case, I would like to share good knowledge that uh, after you do good karma, uh, that must recollect again and again. Mm. After you do bad karma, the best way is to forget it. Jadi, Bante kasih petunjuk. Ya. Kita kalau sudah melakukan satu karma baik, sebaiknya diulang, diingat, diingat, diulang, diingat. Jadi diulang mengingatnya terus-menerus. Sekali kita melakukan karma buruk, kita segera mungkin untuk melupakan. Walaupun kita melakukan karma baik itu sekali, tapi sebaiknya diingat terus menerus sebanyak banyaknya. But our human are always perform opposite of the law Buddha. <laughs> Tapi biasanya kita selalu suka 
melakukan hal yang berlawanan dengan ajaran sang Buddha. Uh, uh, most of the people uh, after they do good deeds, uh, they for, forget everything. Uh, but uh, for them, uh, after they do bad deeds, uh, they recollect again and again so well. <laughs> Biasanya yeah. orang kalau habis melakukan kebuatan baik jadi lupa. Tapi kalau melakukan kejahatan jelek diulang terus, diulang terus, diulang terus. So in this uh, uh, at the ancient time of the Sahalis, uh, they have very great king have. Uh, that great king, uh, whenever he finish in doing wholesome deed, uh, he lets the servant write down. Later on, or uh, before he passed away, uh, let the servant read it. He listen, 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 and he passed away. It's a good way, I think. Yeah? Jadi, ada cerita juga, uh, ada seorang raja, dia biasa menulis, menulis uh, buku yang bagus, dan pada saat mau meninggal, dia sering mendengarkan dengar kembali semua ajaran Buddha Dharma dan itu merupakan uh, kebiasaan yang baik. In my childhood, uh, I have one book. I always write down after I do good deeds. And whenever I feel sad, I used to read this book again. At the time, my mind refresh again. Jadi, in my childhood. Ya, Bante pada waktu kecil dia punya buku diary menulis semua perbuatan baiknya. Dan pada saat Bante sedih, Bante membaca membuka dan membaca ulang semua buku kebaikannya dia membuat dia jadi senang pada saat dia kecil. We call uh, and I would like to call that punya diary. <laughs> Bante diary. Punya punya diary. Punya diary. Punya diary ya. Eh? Oke. Okay. The full karma is eh, if like that one person he do not have the weighty karma, he do not have the dead prism karma, he do not have the habitual karma. Like that type of person, at the verge of death, according to the order of ripening karma, uh, we say katata karma and specifying karma arise. Jadi uh, bagi makhluk yang tidak punya garuka karma, asana karma maupun uh, acina karma maka yang akan muncul adalah kata tak karma which is then by once and soon forgotten ya karma kata tak karma jadi kar, karma yang tidak tidak Spesifik, spesifik. Unspecifying. Yeah, unspe tidak spesifik. So, in this case, huh, in our, for our Burmese, become problems. Become problem is, huh, here you see, most of the people do not have the, usually, most of the people do not have the weighty karma. So at the time, according to the order of ripening karma, The dead prosmic karma will be the, give the effect in the vash of the dead. So because of this, many Burmese people live various types, do not take care so much in the daily life. They wait. <laughs> the dead prosmic karma, and before they pass away, They invite the bhikkhu, Bandi, please help, chant, 
like something like that. Eh? At the time, useless. <laughs> so, I mean, eh? in this case, I would like to share good knowledge according to the teachings of our uh, Burmese teacher. Uh, okay? <coughs> Jadi, Bante menceritakan di Birma itu mempunyai suatu kebiasaan. Hmm. Kalau kondisi di Birma sekarang umumnya kan tidak tidak ada yang mempunyai tidak banyak yang mempunyai garuka karma dan mereka mempunyai kebiasaan sekarang kalau mau meninggal ya cuman minta tolong minta tolong bante untuk chanting sehingga untuk membantu posisi asana asana karmanya mereka nah itu tidak baik juga kebiasaan seperti itu in this case huh? You may misunderstand that. Eh? For the whole life, live as we like. Yeah. And also when close to die, we ask somebody to help us. Eh? Also we think that although somebody cannot help us, eh? we can do good things. We think like that. Eh? It also may become the wrong view sometimes. Yeah, jadi Bande juga mengasih menginformasikan bahwa selama kita hidup kita lakukan yang sebaiknya jangan hanya menunggu pas meninggal baru kita melakukan perbuatan baik manggil bante untuk chanting it's only points of view of the teacher but it points of view of the abhidhamata sangha but abhidhamata sangha is not Uh, you must know that uh, the remark point from the Abhidhamma, so the Abhidhamma is so wide and also they have many various teachings of the Lord Buddha in the Sutanda, so we must go parallel. Hmm, jadi Abhidhamma itu sangat luas dan merupakan salah satu ajaran Sang Buddha. Jadi kita tidak Janganlah hanya mengambil sebagian dari ajaran Sang Buddha untuk berpraktek dalam kehidupan sehari-hari, tapi lakukanlah semua yang diajarkan. Oke, okay. now according to this Abhidhamata Sangha, uh, the, the uh, sub commentary explain like that. Eh? Let's say they have the how to say, uh, please. To put the cow, yeah? Place to put? Cow. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <coughs> okay, in this place, uh, have uh, only one door oh, yeah. to comes out. Mm. But they have many cow. Mm. According to the sub commentary, uh, yeah. they have many cow. Here, the old cow stand. As soon as we open the door, although the very strange and powerful dog have inside, eh? because the old count is half around the door, as soon as we open the door, the old count can come out earlier. It's according to the sub-commentary of Abhidhamata Sangha. Jadi ada suatu komentari, komentari dari Abhidharma e, di suatu peternakan, ya, di dalam pagar peternakan tersebut e, ada banyak e, e, sapi, e, di dalamnya juga ada salah satu anjing yang sangat kuat, namun yang sapi yang tertua itu ada di depan gerbang. Begitu dibuka, bukan anjingnya yang keluar duluan, tapi sapi itu duluan yang yang merupakan binatang pertama yang keluar. But according to our Bamis Seroji, they say that eh, if that old cow is eh, can stand no problem, can stand no problem. If that old cow is eh, Too weak, even cannot stand. At the time, uh, surely 
that powerful car will be pressed it and will be gone more earlier. If that old count is uh, still can stand and can walk, no problem. If that count is too weak and even cannot stand and cannot move, so at that time, surely the powerful count will be pressed, it and will be comes out more earlier. Ada, ada, ke, ada, ada istilah di Burma kalau uh, sapi yang di paling depan gerbang itu bisa berjalan dan bisa jalan bisa sehat itu mungkin nggak masalah tapi begitu sapi itu dalam kondisi yang tidak sehat nah kemungkinan sapi ini akan terinjek oleh sapi yang di belakangnya yang sangat sehat gitu so because of this in this case huh, we should understand more clear that eh? uh, sometimes if our proximate karma is so strong, powerful, no problem. Sometimes if our proximate karma is so weak, surely habitual karma can overcome it. Hmm. Jadi itu tadi cerita untuk menjelaskan tentang proximate karma dan habitual karma, asana karma dan ajina karma. Jadi selama, selama asana karma kita sangat kuat, habitual karma tidak akan muncul. Tapi kalau Uh, proximate karma atau asi, asana karma kita nggak kuat, maka jelas ajina karma kita, habitual karma kita yang akan muncul menggantikan. So, because of this, uh, we should take care. Uh, as I like, is a uh, Habitual karma, very nice. It is it, it only my own point of view. Huh? And also, according to the Sutanda, sometimes our Lord Buddha teach, Habitual karma is number two, and Prasmic karma is number three. They have other teaching of the Lord Buddha in the Sutanda. Jadi, hmm. antara Asana dan Ajina dalam tulisan suta yang Dharma yang lain pun kadang posisinya bisa berbalik sehingga menurut Bate kita sangatlah penting menjaga kebiasaan. So please, I would like, I would like to mindful to you. Uh, please take care in your daily activities to become habitual karma, habitual good karma. Yeah? I think surely for the one who practice again and again and again and again, yeah, good karma, that karma will become habitual karma. So because that habitual karma is so strong and powerful, surely our proximate karma will become same type. So at the time we can rely on very well. Ya, jadi Bante menegaskan kembali bahwa kita sebaiknya menjaga kebiasaan kita sebaik-baiknya karena itu akan sangat dominan dalam kehidupan kita. Seumpamanya kita dalam kondisi mau meninggal pun kebiasaan baik pun kebiasaan tersebut akan menjadi menjadi asana karma juga. Oke, okay, may I continue the uh, karma by time of ripening? Eh? Dilanjut ke... Do not fall. Do not fall. 
Paka kala chet paka kala gama chetuka. Do not fall. Right? Yeah. Paka kala gama chetuka. Ya kau. Jadi eh, dilanjut ke pakah kala kama jatuka, yaitu karma yang berbuah sesuai dengan waktunya, fungsi waktu. Kalau yang pertama, tipenya berdasarkan fungsi, yang kedua berdasarkan eh, kualitas beratnya, yang ketiga berdasarkan waktunya. The first one is uh, immediately effective karma. Uh, data dhamma vedaniya karma. Data dhamma vedaniya karma. Data dhamma vedaniya karma. Karma yang berbuah segera. Uh, immediate, immediately effective karma. So the karma bear fruit in the present life. Give the fruit in present life. Jadi karma yang berbuah pada kehidupan sekarang, saat ini. The second type is eh, subsequently effective karma. Karma yang berbuah pada kehidupan berikutnya. Subsequently effective karma means eh, that give the fruit in the next life. Ya, karma, karma pada yang berbuah pada kehidupan berikutnya. Give the fruit in present life, give the fruit in next life. Ya, jadi yang pertama berbuah sekarang, yang kedua berbuah berikutnya. The third one is eh, indefinitely effective karma. Yang ketiga, uh, sewaktu-waktu berbuah sehingga sampai mencapai nibana. Is it is this life? It is second life? Yeah. It is from that to the nibana. Yeah. Yang ketiga, berbuah sewaktu-waktu sampai mencapai nibana, sebelum mencapai nibana. The fourth one is the defend gamma. Ya, yang keempat adalah yang tidak berbuah. Do not get the fruit. Ya. Yang tidak berbuah, jadi karma yang tidak berbuah. May I explain a little bit wider? Uh, by the time of the ripening karma, they have four types. Immediately effective karma, which gives the effect immediately in this life. For the subsequently effective karma, which gives the effect in the uh, future life. Okay? Only number two life. Eh? Uh, for the Indefinitely karma, which gave the effect, which gave the fruit from the third life to the nibbana, and from the fourth karma, we call definite karma, which do not give the effect. Jadi dijelaskan oleh Bante uh, karma yang berbuah berdasarkan waktunya. Yang satu adalah berbuah pada kehidupan ini. Yang kedua kehidupan ke depan, yang ketiga kehidupan eh, sewaktu-waktu sebelum mencapai nibana, yang keempat yang tidak berbuah. In this way, we used to explain with the chawana. Mostly, sans javana arise seven times. In this case, for the one uh, who do wholesome or unwholesome, the first javana 
can give the immediate effect. Jadi dijelaskan oh, dijelaskan ini mudah dijelaskan dengan jawana. Biasanya pada jawana 1 sampai jawana 2 itu akan berbuah. Yeah. For the seventh jawana can give the subsequently aphetic fruit. Yeah, jadi, uh, uh, sorry, subsequently aphetic gamma can give the fruit in the future, uh, the second life. Eh? Yeah. Jadi yang nomor dua itu uh, akan berefek pada jawana yang berikutnya. The middle five jawana can give the effect from the third life to the nibbana. Jadi yang nomor tiga itu akan muncul buah karmanya pada pada uh, waktu kehidupan yang ketiga dan sampai sebelum mencapai nibbana. But uh, Bhamis Saraji used to say that uh, uh, maybe this is present life, this is past life, this is that to the nibbana. Like that, one by one is uh, sometimes uh, maybe mis uh, maybe complicated. So, according to the Mahagana Rama Syaroji, very famous Abhidhamma teacher, never mind the name. Eh? According to the, our Bhamis, very famous teacher, he said that eh, surely both same seven types of Javana can give one type of effect. They also say in other way. <coughs> according to, it is according to the Abhidhamata Sangha. But for our Burmese, very famous Abhidhamma teacher, Saraji, explanation, he say maybe both seven Javana can give uh, same effect, he say. Jadi yang dijelaskan ini berdasarkan tulisan komentar di Abhidhamma di dalam ajaran. Namun ada seorang praktisi di Birma yang mengatakan bahwa ketujuh jawana tersebut dapat e, berbuah berbuah ber Do you complicate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so according to this explanation, they have seven jawana. So first jawana become this kama. Seven, number seven jawana. No two, number seven. Here seven. Eh? Number seven jawana. Number two mean this. I mean, yeah. Okay. First javana become this karma. Seven javana become this karma. From third to fifth become this javana. So it is according to this explanation. According to our Burmese teacher explanation, all together seven types of the javana can give same effect. Same effect. Same effect means like that, if this present life, all together, this present life. And then future life, all together, future life. Oh. Jadi kalau di dalam Abhidhamma ini, Javana 1 akan berakibat ke 1. Javana 2 bisa juga berakibat di Javana nomor 7. Dan yang nomor 3 itu bisa kehidupan dari satu sampai sebelum mencapai nibbana. Namun ada seorang praktisi abhidhamma di Birma mengatakan bahwa jawana satu dan tujuh dapat berbuah waktunya berbarengan dalam waktu yang dalam kehidupan yang sama. 
Okay, never mind. But most of the people are wrong, wrongly. They hope to get this. Uh, they hope to get the effect from this immediately affected karma. I think you maybe hope. Yeah? <laughs> Means that if you offer something to somebody, if like that, I am not arahant. You are arahant. They will choose the arahant first. <laughs> the reason is, if I donate to the arahant, can give immediate effort for me. So it is also wrong. Wrong means that dana is everything. Every kusala thing we do in our Buddhism is uh, we must consider about our other and we do. We must do like that. But because we hope to get the bad effect for us much, eh, become strong attach this dana. And also uh, only hope to get to become this karma. Jadi Bante um, menginfokan bahwa banyak dari kita mempunyai cara pikir yang salah. Kita semua banyak berharap um, kalau misalnya kita berdana, kita banyak berharap supaya kita langsung buah karmanya langsung berbuah. Sehingga kalau ada misalnya dalam ruangan ini ada seorang arahat, kita langsung semua akan mempersembahkan dana atau berdana kepada seorang arahat supaya buahnya langsung segera. Nah itu konsep yang salah karena kita berdana atau kita berbuat kusala kama itu eh, lebih baik berdasarkan kebutuhan makhluk lain daripada cuman mengutamakan uh, result yang berbuahnya sekarang gitu. Di Seven uh, uh, Cita Jawana ya, yeah. that is in one cognitive process. Ya. Yeah. And uh, if we do uh, For example, uh, kusala kama. Uh, that is in the if this kusala kama uh, during one minute, that is a billions uh, cognitive process, and uh, we can say that the then that billion pair of seven uh, jawana rise, also uh, uh, billion process cognitive process rise. Of, uh, we say all are kusala, so that uh, that means that our one good deeds uh, can be uh, give a, a good uh, effect in the all of the three uh, type of uh, this uh, ripening karma uh, in this life also and the next life and the. Uh, Subsequently, life. Yeah. Uh, is is my my thinking is right or so? I mean, one one good deed uh, will uh, uh, will have a result. Uh, billions uh, uh, jawana kama uh, uh, jawana. Uh, Cita, so in in the seven process, uh, that mean that uh, our, for example, one good deeds, uh, good deeds, um, can give result in this life and also in the next life and then also in the uh, future long life. So because of this problem, our Bami's teacher explained, yeah. All together, seven jawana can give only one type. Do you understand? After uh, we accept 
the teaching of our Burmese teacher, uh, explanation of the Burmese theology, huh? that problem already solved. Brother, understand? Like that. If we follow in this explanation, huh? may have like that problem. Sister, understand? So, if we follow the explanation of Burmese theology, then have no more problem. Because all together, that seven type, or let like you say, billions of the pair of that seven can give one same life. Yeah, but in every mind moment have every energy. Like as today we say, one chavana can give one life. It is uh, other teaching have, eh? okay? Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Never mind. So in this case, uh, uh, I will stop in here. But may may I share two knowledge very short? Yeah. Two knowledge me. According to our Burmese theology teaching, uh, it is the effort of this karma is cannot rely on so much. Cannot rely on means uh, only give present, uh, only give effort in this present life. Uh, cannot rely on so much, although we are hope so much. Uh, cannot rely on. Cannot rely on means eh? like that. I donate uh, like that. The one couple donate the food to the Sariputta Mahathira, the farmer couple. As soon as they donate the food to the uh, Sariputta Mahathira, uh, in their uh, their farm lamb is already chained to the golden land. But after they dead, cannot use. Huh? After they dead, cannot use. Now no more that kaba, no more that gold. So because of this, huh? every all effort of matter is we saw we say rootless effort. You know. Now I gave you the gold. Now I gave you money. Now I can create for you many things. But everything is, we can say, matter. This matter, rupa, is rootless. Rootless means cannot last long, cannot use so long, cannot carry on future life like this. Eh? So I would, I would like to share the knowledge that eh? please eh? do not hope to get this effect much. Jadi Bante menganjurkan bahwa kita jangan terlalu berharap untuk hmm, berharap-harap supaya apa yang buah karma yang kita, buah kebajikan karma kita berbuah pada eh, waktu secepatnya atau dalam kehidupan ini. Karena eh, itu juga tidak baik. Salah satunya ada cerita bahwa seorang petani memberikan persembahan ke yang Arya Sariputa dan di mana semua pertaniannya dia berubah menjadi emas. Tapi begitu begitu petani tersebut meninggal dan emas itu kan materi. Pada saat meninggal materi tersebut juga menjadi tidak ada gunanya sehingga e, semua buah karma kebajikannya dia juga menjadi hilang karena materinya emas juga tidak berfungsi buat dia yang meninggal sehingga e, Bande menyarankan kita kalau berbuat kebajikan ya tidaklah janganlah berharap bahwa buah berkebajikan itu berbuahnya mesti sekarang karena akan lebih penting kalau ber, berbuahnya di setiap kehidupan kita yang akan datang. 
And may I explain about one more for the deaf and gamma. For the deaf and gamma, like that, they have explained uh, in the sutta have explained explanation. Eh? Before we become the arahant, no more deaf and gamma. Like that, eh? like the uh, Angulimala Thera. Uh, before he became the arahant, he killed the human and also he cut off the, how to say? Hand. Hand. Yeah. He cut off the hand and he, he hand yeah. on his neck. Yeah. So like that. Although he killed and he cut off the other hand, but after become arahant, do not effort. Yeah. Uh, do not give the effort. But at the time, uh, by in this occasion, in my childhood, my mind complicates. Why he killed a lot of people and also he become a man? <laughs> he do not have effort. Oh, impossible, I, I consider like that. But when uh, after I learned Abhidhamma, no more complicate. <clears throat> It is so important explanation. Huh? No more complicated means huh? for one become at a hand, to be at a hand. Huh? Not only have to cut the bad karma, but also have to cut the good karma. Yeah? Do you understand? But uh, for the Angulimala Mahathira, because he is Mahasavaka, Mahasavaka, I did uh, 100,000 life, he have to collect the perfection. Collect, collecting perfection means uh, do good things. So long, long life. Eh? But after he became a eh? no more effort. Do you understand? No more effort. So because of this, eh, surely it is equivalent. Okay. Mm. It is important explanation. Eh? I would like to carry to tomorrow, but uh, it is so important because of this I explain. Jadi, Bante menceritakan uh, ahosi karma ya. Karma yang tidak berbuah. Jadi, uh, kita juga tidak tidak boleh berhar, tidak boleh terlalu mengharapkan adanya karma yang tidak berbuah karena karma tidak berbuah ini hanya berlaku pada saat kita sudah mencapai arahan salah satu yang diceritakan adalah eh, Angulimala Mahathera di mana sebelum mencapai arahat beliau membunuh banyak orang, memotong tangan orang banyak, dibuat kalung. Sehingga Bande pada saat e, muda berpikir, wah enak juga ya, bunuh orang banyak, memotong tangan orang banyak, dan dia mencapai arahat. Namun, e, Bande mengatakan bahwa Angulimala Mahathira pun tetap harus membayar buah karmanya sampai mencapai Rahat. Nah, karena pada saat mencapai tingkat arahat, seorang arahat tidak hanya memotong karma buruk, tapi dia juga harus merelakan karma baiknya. Dan Angulimala Mahathira pun membayar eh, hutang karmanya itu sampai seratus ribu tumi balahir. I mean not uh, 100,000 life, eh? 100,000 kappa, 100,000 war. Huh? War, yeah, 100,000. Oh, 100,000 tahun dunia. Yeah, yeah. Okay. May I stop my discussion now? Huh? Thank you for your time. Uh, please repeat after me. Idame bonyan, 
Nibbanasa Pachiyo Hotu Mama Bunya Bhagam Sabasatanam Pajimi Te Sabe Me Samam Punya Bhagam Labandu Sadhu 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 Let's send the metta one time. Sabe Sata Avira Hondu Abhya Bhaja Hondu Aniga Hondu Sukhi Adana Pariharandu Sadhu 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 Okay, uh, may we get the, even from the small happiness of a body and mental up to the greatest happiness of the Nibbana, may you attain very soon. Sadhu Sadhu.